Hello, everyone. Brandon Lejeune here from the Devi Deep Dive Podcast. Today, we're going to take a look at Iowa State sophomore tight end Charlie Kohler. Charlie is six foot six, two hundred fifty-two pounds. He's a three-star prospect, twenty twenty-one tight end. In the two thousand and nineteen season, he had forty-eight catches for six hundred and seventy-five yards and seven TDs. Definitely a fan favorite, and uh, definitely a fun target for Brock Purdy on the season this past year. So let's get to his film. Okay, right here, he's going to run. He's here at the top of the screen here, right off the line of scrimmage. And he's just going to run a simple, real post pattern to the end zone. Nothing special. But again, you're just going to see his ability to just split the coverage. He's got splitting the coverage. He's got the ball. Good tracking ability. Good strong hands. Nice tight end. Again, Brock Purdy always looking for him close to the end zone. Another, again, just another quick look at it. Real nice play right there. Okay, so here he's lined up down here, and he's going to run and out here, and he makes an extremely strong catch, absorbs the contact. This is a, this is a really nice play right here. It shows you his really strong hands, his route running. So here he you know, kind of bumps off coverage. Here he's got a guy trailing him right here. And watch the catch here. And we're going to do a little slow motion replay right here. So you can see he's breaking on his route, kind of gets stumbled a little bit, a little bit of interference, but watch this. He grabs the ball. This guy here is trying to swat at it. Nice, strong finish. Look at this guy. has got his arm right here, but he makes a really, really nice catch right there. It's right here. Again, it's first and 10. Just going to run a simple, simple little route here. Kind of curls in here. Let's see. Just makes himself available. And then he, he makes a pretty decent, you know, step, knows where the first down is, and, you know, drives upfield, takes the contact. Um, nice play right there. Okay, so right here, okay, they're going to put him in motion. He's going to run a little hitch route. Uh, again, it's not the most athletic cutback you're going to see, but here he is right here, and he's just going to move across the formation. Here he goes. He's just going to do a little hitch route. He's going to come back him again. He sees the first down marker. They're worried about it's fourth and two. Who's he going to? On fourth work. But again, knows where the sticks are and where he has to go. So here he's going to run a slant route. And he takes a big hit and holds on to the ball. So again, here he is frequently lined up here. He usually lines up all over. Okay, well, let's take a look at what he does here. He's going to take a big hit here down the middle. He's doing a simple slant route. Nice catch. He knows he's going to take contact right here, but he still makes the grab. Bang. Takes the contact, holds on to the ball. Pretty nice. Another little look at it. There he is. Sees the contact. Sees the guy. He knows he's going to take a hit. Good, a good, you know, hand there. Holding on to the ball. Bang. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so here, this is a Texas Tech film, okay, and he's going to be lined up in a bunch formation. He's right here. All right, he's going to run a corner route, and watch the body adjustment here for him. He does a really nice job. He first turns to the right and realizes it's a back shoulder kind of throw from Purdy, and he's got to make a complete adjustment. So here he is. This is a little slow motion here. He started off, now he's got it. He's like backpedaling into the end zone, and take a look at this high point catch right here. Gets his one foot in, second foot two. That's a pro move right there, getting ready for the NFL. Comes down with the grab. And we have another uh, another look right here coming up. Okay, so you see, see how he turns to the right first? Now he's got to make a complete body adjustment and go backwards to the left, back shoulder, and then he makes the grab. That's pretty nice right there. Okay, so here he's lined up in a slot. He's going to run a go, you know, post route. Uh, and again, just good hands. He's going to just, uh, you're going to see he's going to make a decent first move here. He's right here. He's got this guy. He's got him turning his hips already. And boom, he's gone. And again, good ball tracking skills. Nice catch right there. Comes down with the ball. And, then, and he doesn't, he's not going to beat you with elite speed, but he's a crafty little player. So here's just another look at it again. See, so he tracks the ball well, catches it. And, you know, again, Fending off contact. Okay, so right here, now this is a simple post again, uh, slant pattern, uh, and he's just beating coverage. So he's right here for the touchdown. It's third and goal again. He always Purdy's always looking for him on third down, and, th and other teams know that, and they still can't control him. So you're gonna see he's gonna take on 
you know, the safety here is going to kind of play off this way and then come back. But here he's going to just come in through and run a post, little slant, and beat his coverage. So again, nice catch with his hands. It's just too big. Look how big he is compared to the defender. Nice, nice play there. Okay. So here on the next couple plays are two blocking plays. So I think it's important when we analyze tight ends to really take a look at their blocking skills. And Purdy, I'm sorry, uh, Kohler, I mean, he engages in blocking. So you're going to see here, Brees Hall is in the backfield. Another great Debbie asset. We'll probably do a scouting report on him as well. But here he is right here, and he's going to be taking on this defender right here. So he does a pretty nice job of coming back and engaging with number 21. And, you know, Brees Hall is going to find the seat, crease, He's going to beat his man here. But again, Kohler gets just enough a piece of him. You can see he dives to try and, you know, get a piece of hole and just can't do it. And then Brees takes it to the house. Okay, here's just another close-up look at it. Okay, so again, here's number 21 right here. He's engaged, good hands, lifting in this guy's arms. Oh, get a piece of hole, he just can't do it. Okay. Now, this next play here is a pretty sweet blocking play, okay? So here he is right here, okay? And he's going to engage this guy, and he's just going to drive him right off into the sideline. He has no idea, you know, where Hall is going or whatever, but I like the way he uses his arms, his hands, and he just drives him right back in off the, off the ball and just doesn't give up on the play. Love that. All right, here we have some Iowa film. And uh, the next few plays here, you're going to just see here, he's just finding coverage in the middle of the field. Okay, so here he is at the top. Okay, and again, he knows where the first down marker is. Okay, let's see how he goes here. And then he just finds coverage, knows where it just sits in the seam, just sits in the seam right there, gets the pass, and what is there? One, two, three, four, five guys here trying to tackle him. It's a tough player to get down. Okay, here he is. He's going to run a drag route. Okay, and he has some decent contact balance. So here he is at the top, and he's just going to run across and see how he does here he's going to run across make himself available this guy here is going to engage in his legs makes good contact it would have been nice to see him go upfield here to see the first down but instead he thinks he can beat number 49 on the outside cut and doesn't get it and then he's gang tackled another look at it right here okay all right so on this play here he's lined up in the slot Okay, now just another example, again, of working the middle of the field. It's third and three. Uh, again, Purdy looks for him a lot on third down, and he's just going to find the middle of the field and just make himself available. Turns up field, gang tangled again. Okay, on this one, he's lined up at the top of the formation. He's up here. You really kind of can't see him. And... Uh, He's going to make a nice move on this play. He's going, to, he's going to show a little bit of wiggle here. So he catches the ball. Okay, He's going to run up field. And then this defender right here over pursuits a little. But you're going to see he makes a decent cut back inside to make sure he gets that first down. Makes a miss right there. Kind of hops. Good contact balance. Drives forward. Gets the good play. All right, so you can see he works a lot at the middle of the field, like I said, his bread and butter. So this is a great play. This is the last uh, film cut of this uh, scouting report against Kansas. He had a great game against Kansas, over 100 yards, I believe. But again, this just shows a lot of his skills in one play. All right, here he is right up here. He's going to just basically run, you know, across the, the, the field and make a fantastic catch here. Okay, so here he is right here. He's going to come up. It's basically just a whole slant pattern going across the middle of the field. Purdy catches him. Okay, you can see he's got guys draped all over him here. Comes down with a catch and moves up the field. Okay, you can see he's absorbing the contact. Makes the one-handed grab then turns up field. I like how he puts the, the ball in the opposite hand. You know, it's good technique. And then he gets tackled. So I hope this gives you a really good understanding of Charlie Kohler and his potential. Again, he's a 2021 uh, tight end prospect. I think he's, uh, his stock is looking up. He's going to be on an exciting team next year with Brock Purdy and Brees Hall. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, you can find me. I'm going to be putting out a lot of these scouting reports. Um, I talk about them all the time on my podcast at Devi 
Deep Dive Podcast, and you can follow me on Twitter at Dynasty at Deep Dive. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.